Welcome back, everybody, to Conservative Brother Daily, bringing your daily dose of unapologetic blackface and a woke, uh, trapped in a woke white place, continuing to spread common sense in a nonsense world. Um, today's article uh, we're going to go over today. Uh, first one we're going to start out with is the new cringy, uh, what I like to call, you know, the, the new act, the new Illinois act that they rolled out. And basically they're head over heels on this crap. And pretty much it's uh, it's not good. They're calling it the purge law. They're calling it cashless bail, uh, getting rid of cashless bail. Uh, but either way, uh, not good. All right. So let me go ahead and share my screen real quick. All right. All right. I uh, would like to ideally share this. Oh, it's pissing me off. All right. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. So basically the 2021 Safety Act. Uh, roles and responsibilities. The 2021 Illinois Safety, Accountability, Fairness, Equity Today Act enacts extensive reform impacting many areas of the criminal justice system, including pre-arrest diversion, policing, uh, policing, uh, pre-trial, uh, sentencing, and corrections. Uh, the, Ill the Illinois Criminal uh, Justice in in Information Authority is tasked with implementing several of the act's provisions. Uh, these areas of act, these areas of the act include policing. They include uh, pre-trial and deaths and in custody, as well as leading and serving on different task force. All right, let me make sure I got all of this together. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, man, it's not good. <laughs> uh, this shit is not good. Hold on a second, y'all. I don't know, it's so hard. Uh, all right. So let's... Okay, let's see what you guys are seeing. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. So, uh, once again, these acts are, the article highlights the areas of the act, details ICJIA's roles, legislation, blah, blah, blah. So signing the law on January 22nd, 2021, the implement sweeping reform and impacting many aspects of the criminal justice system, including pre-arrest diversion, policing, uh, pre-trial, sentence, and corrections. Uh, once again, this is right off the Illinois government website. Uh, it's tasked with implementing several of these uh, things. Uh, summary, it covers three aspects of criminal reform, policing, pretrial, correct. How many times are you going to repeat the goddamn act over and over again? All right, so please reference the full act for specifics and language. So once again, guys, you got to read the fine print. Uh, a lot of these politicians, they don't even have the time to read all these bills, or let alone their aides they don't even read them. Um, I ain't about to read all this shit, but uh, Lord. But basically, see here, Offers new standards when forcing police. Um, they had to be honest. I'm going to read the goddamn uh, press article. Anybody got time to read this whole thing? But you get the point. Um, yeah. All right. Next article. Uh, I don't feel like doing all that shit today. So working on getting better, y'all. I'm going to find the article, the original press release article. Um, but I ain't reading all that shit. Uh, school district defends trans shop teacher. Uh, what's trans shop mean? Teacher, oh, I guess shop teacher, whose enormous fake breasts spurred internet fur. A Canadian school district, all right, a Canadian school district um, is standing behind a biologically male teacher um, who's wearing massive prosthetic breasts created on an online fur. Pictures circulated of the shop teacher using a table saw <laughs> and teaching students while wearing enormous fake busts complete with prominent nipples. The teacher has been identified as Kayla Lumix, previously known as Stephen Hanna. Works at Oakville High School, which obtained an email the district sent to parents regarding this. We are aware of the discussion on social media. We would like to take this opportunity to reiterate our community. We are committed to establishing and maintaining a safe, Caring, inclusive, equitable 
just right off, just say all the right, stu- uh, just course siding with the teacher, saying all the right things, keeping on strip of the leftist narrative. Um, although the email did not mention Lumix by name, it appeared to defend the teacher's right to wear a bizarre prosthetic as a matter of gender expression. Provide to promote a positive learning environment. Yeah, that's real positive. Yeah, decide with the teacher. Consistent with the values of our district and ensure a safe and inclusive environment for all students and staff, regardless of race, age, ability, sex, gender, gender identity, gender, gender expression, sexual orientation, ethnicity, religion, cultural observance, socioeconomical circumstances, and body type and size. Video of Lumor uh, wearing the bogus bosom under a tight top with shorts or a skirt were posted on libs and TikTok. Others were initially prompted suspicion of a joke or a hoax. Uh, Andy Nago uh, called it out. Many took to the attention of the Ontario Minister of Education, blah, blah, blah. Oakville High School is overseen by the Holton District, which promotes, which heavily promotes racial, radical gender theory, according to Radix, an independent pro-feminist website. A year ago, the school district released guidelines regarding that gender identity, gender expressions. Um, HDSB Chair Margot Shuttleworth told the Toronto staff that are concerned about uh, LUMO safety on Monday when classes resume. There are what there will be protesters and anti-protesters. I do not know where the phone calls were made. Blah blah. blah. This teacher is extreme. I'm sure she's a great teacher. I mean, I don't know, but you know. Have some common sense, guys. Like, Jesus, like, come on. Come on. I don't know what else to say, y'all. I don't know what else to say. Man, I'm a little low on fuel today. Not giving you guys the best, but man, get this shit together. All right. Um, all right. Next article we got. I'm on limited time this morning. All right. Back to Hollywood. Let's see what woke. We'll- things going on now. Shit ever loads. And once again, guys, you guys are watching um, uh, well, Uncomfy Truth is my other show with a conspiracy brother, but this is Conservative Brother Daily, bringing your daily dose of an unapologetic black face trapped in a woke white place. Continue to spread common sense in a nonsense world. Um, uh, pretty soon, like I said, I'm going to be establishing some things. So if you want me to read an article and do a reaction to it, give my own thoughts on it, we'll be kind of setting up a little, little pay tier donor through uh, PayPal, Gibson Go, and then uh, so the one, yeah, Gibson Go, PayPal, and Cash App. So that'll be coming soon. All right, Queen Elizabeth funeral invite list. All right, Sandra O oh, and a couple other people. All right, so obviously the queen passed away. Among the royals, world leaders, fans of Killing Eve spotted Sandra O. Oh. I don't watch, see why that's news. I get it from Grey's Anatomy. She's a great actress. I don't see the relevance there. Part of the delegation, surprise, surprise, Justin Trudeau, prime minister and totalitarian tyrant, who happens to be, by the way, one of uh, Klaus Schwab's young world leaders, alumni of that. So he's tied in with Klaus Schwab, Elon Musk, so it only makes sense he's there. Other mourners include these other celebrities that don't really matter. Um, let's see here. Yep, it's actually airing today. Today's Monday the 19th. They're airing the ceremony. Watch the live stream on YouTube later. I'll probably do that. Full schedule of funeral plans. So they're making this into like, they renewing it for a second season damn near. And of course, the Bidens will be attending. Justin Trudeau's bitch ass. Um, who else we got? It's just very interesting. You know, and they're going to be doing little backdoor deals and all this stuff. Got the Royals there. Um, you know, Harry, oh, I guess Meghan Markle wasn't invited. Surprise, surprise. Six countries doing this list. Uh, six countries were excluded from the projected guest list. Russia for its invasion with new- Ukraine. Uh, yep. Go right ahead. Afghanistan, which remains under Taliban rule. Whose fault is that? Biden. And Ukraine, President Zelensky to be there. That fucking piece of shit. Yeah. They're going to be there. Virtue signaling, doing all that stuff. The corporate elites. King Charles will convene as the king. And this is what, you know, 
I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent here because you guys aren't even aware of what we're being walked into. King Charles is best friends of 50, 60 years with Klaus Schwab. Klaus Schwab, as you guys know, somebody else know, runs the World Economic Forum. So he's the main architect behind the Great Reset, which isn't a conspiracy. He wrote a whole book, COVID-19, Great Reset, and the whole, you will own nothing and be happy. So what you got to think about now that the queen is out the picture, you got King Charles III taking the throne. He's right up there fancy with Klaus Schwab. And he's 100% behind the Great Reset. One of the first things he said was a few days after, like, we need to build up a big militarization state. You know, once again, I'm not here to go through all these guidelines and cramped transcriptions. It's your job to look this shit up yourself. All right. So I'm just saying, you know, and I know I didn't touch on this enough. You guys need to go back and do research on this act, this purge act that basically allows you know, and what you got to do is you need to go through here and really ask yourself, if I read all this or if I do as much research as I can, is this a law that's only, that's actually going to help with, let's say, those that got busted for marijuana, drug, and other non-violent offenses? Yeah, I totally get. No, you know, cashless bail. Let them go after 48 hours. But when you got even first-time violent offenders, repeat offenders, people that almost killed their ex-girlfriend, but then now they're getting out again. I don't have a problem with the nonviolent drug offenses being let out, cashless bail, this purge law, even, you know, I have to track them for 48 hours. But if that shit's applying toward violent offenders and nonviolent offenders, which I'm sure George Soros funded lawyers are pretty much gunning for that, then we got a huge issue. So you look back on this two to three years from now and don't say we didn't warn you. But back to this. Once again, it's just all tied in. Uh, George Soros, uh, Klaus Schwab of the World Economic Forum are now in league with, uh, well, have always been in league with, but now King Charles is, you know, they're going to put their foot on the gas. Uh, <laughs> so just warning you, you guys right now so you can't say I didn't warn you. All right. So uh, next thing we have here. All right is all right a little daily wire article all right what do we got 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 all right magic moral time bill maher which i'm loving more and more obviously i, I still agree with, disagree with him on trump he he has just he basically gets most of it right but he still has his trump derangement syndrome where he's convinced if trump's in jail doesn't run he thinks shit's going to go back to normal. And uh, Bill, once again, that'll just be the beginning of our problems uh, once Trump is out the picture. That's the one thing many of these, even moderate, just can't understand. They think fucking when Trump goes away, everything go back to normal. Um, so once again, Bill, holding up historical figures to modern day world values is a silly scholarship. Bill Maher said on Friday, uh, the old school liberal made a point about so-called percentism in the new rules segment. Discussing a controversial essay by historian James Sweet, later apologized for writing that judging historical figures by contemporary standards ignores the values and morals of uh, people in their own times. Shouldn't be sorry, Mara said. Being woke is like a, ma a magic moral time machine in which you judge everyone by what you think you have you would have done in 1066. Uh, that is brilliant. Being woke is like having a magic moral time machine in which you judge everyone think what you would have done. And you always win. Presenting him just a way to congratulate yourself about being better than George Washington because you have a gay friend and he didn't. But if he were alive here today, he would too. And if you were alive then, you wouldn't. Oh, that is brilliant right there, man. That is brilliant. Uh, I want to give up Bill Maher for, you know, once again, we're all, a lot of us are victims of our time. Yes, there was slavery back in the day, but everyone had it. Every country did it, including Africa, who, partic who willingly participated in it is selling their own slaves so we got to get out of this whole you know uh yeah yeah i think bill maher uh, captured it perfectly he's worth a screenshot or two uh brooks essay called out 1619 and the woman king examples of historical presentism which enraged many of the left uh 1619 by former blah 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 claimed the trigger true founding uh blah blah you know so yeah i got my own issues with 1619 and the overly woke CRT, 
She claimed the practice of tipping waiters and waitresses linked to slavery. Get the fuck out of here. Meyer said that slavery was not simply a racist institution, noting the capacity of cruelty is a human thing, not a white thing. I agree with that. Everybody could afford one, had a slave, including people of color. The way people talk about slavery these days, you think it would be a very unique thing that we invented in 1619. But slavery was, throughout history, has been the rule, not the exception. Thank you, Bill Maher. Presentism has said, said puts race, gay, and gender colonizers into wokeness blender as if the new world was a great big diverse dance club and pilgrims were the bridge and the tunnel crowd who came in and ruined everything. A uh, who has increasingly been tweaking modern progressive liberals. I also joked about liberals reaction to Florida Republican decision to send 50, it's only 50, God, not thousands. The migrants first when they ride the vineyard, when they, today they sent to the Cape Cod, just throw the, throw a stop and then tuck it. And it's the same cruise I got from my parents a few years back. So, yeah, uh, once again, I cheer on Bill Maher. Once again, he's still on the Trump derangement syndrome, which I think causes judgment. But he's been spot on on a lot of these things. And uh, all the more to him. I uh, definitely keep keep him in my uh, corner. Uh, keep keep supporting him. And other than that, guys, uh, once again, that's our uh, – I got to get going. My timer just went off. So I'll be back tomorrow. For once again, conservative uh, conservative brother daily, uh, bringing your providing your daily dose of unapologetic blackface trapped in the woke white place. Uh, continuing to spread common sense in a nonsense world. We out. See ya.